Yeah, a big three points for us uh, at home and especially uh, against the big rivals. So, uh, um, especially with, uh, you know, no games, uh, there's not too many left. So, uh, and, and the thing is, uh, all the teams that we're facing in, in the future, they're all tough, tough opponents. So, today was no different, but uh, really a big three points for us, yeah. Big game for you in the back. I mean, what, what, what was special about the defense today? Was it the movement? Was it you getting the ball out there? I mean, what was the key today from the back line? Uh, um, you know, they put a lot of pressure on us, especially second half. The first half had I mean, a couple of saves, and but I think second half, um, I was more the one watching, and our defenders were doing the, the, the hard work and the dirty work. So uh, that was more nerve-wracking for me, the second half, because they put so much pressure on us. But, uh, um, you know, trying to get crosses on the ground and behind our defense. Uh, but, but Chad and also Ramon had a couple of really big interceptions for us. And then uh, I think uh, you also see uh, at the very end with the last free kick, you know, uh, um, Stewart die. We, we, we had a talk about uh, attacking as 11 and defending as 11. And I think it was Nelson that comes up with, uh, with the big deflection on the free kick. So uh, um, it's just uh, knowing that, you know, that there's only so many games left. Uh, we're going to have to bring it um, for 90 minutes and plus, and, and, and it's really nice to see Nelson there at the end because that a striker coming through defensively. So you kind of break down your save there in the first half on, on Milano. It was like a 1v1, and I think he kind of went low, and, and you kind of paired it away. What did you see there? You know, I just uh, if at first you starting position wise, you try to stay connect with with your defenders, and then it kind of it is is bouncing weirdly almost to the right a little bit, and I feel like I'm not going to be able to get there cleanly. So I, I just decided to stay back and then uh, see how he takes up the angle against me, and then just come out, uh, try to stay big and not not go down too early, um, and and luckily he hit it at me. Ziggy really praised your performance in terms of keeping this team in the game. Uh, how would you assess your performance tonight? I was happy with making a couple saves, you know, especially when we, uh, you know, I can go 1-1 one, one instead of we go into the half uh, at 2-0, which is great. But, uh, uh, you know, as a goalkeeper, you're, you're striving for perfection and there's, there's, there's things out there that I screwed up on today. And those are the things I'll remember and try to improve on, obviously, during the week. Uh, just really, really happy that we were able to get three points. Obviously, a lot of veterans on the back line, but O'Neill Fisher has been um, making some starts here consistently. Can you talk about his performance being yeah. so young? And, and, and tough, tough uh, opponent for him today, you know, uh, with, with Darlington Nagby. And also, we know that uh, their right back likes to bomb forward as well. So, a uh, really tough job for him today. And, uh, and he, he did well, you know. It's just, uh, you know, sometimes as a young guy, too, when you're. You're excited to be, be able to play uh, play your part in a big game like this, but uh, if you're if you're playing in front of sixty something thousand people against your rival, maybe that can be a little too much for some for some young, for some young guys. But uh, he handled himself really well. Like I said, had a big performance for us, and we needed it. You were pretty animated with some of your defenders after some set pieces early on. Um, what were you sort of trying to get across? And do you think that you guys improved as the game went on in defending this? Um, well, for set pieces, it's difficult sometimes. You know, when you have sixty something thousand people. It's really nice to have them behind you, but it's it's tough to, to communicate as well. So uh, sometimes just trying to make sure we're maybe taking a step left or right on that, and uh, you know, just I, th I think we're trying to we just really need to push ourselves. You know, if you have a turnover, you know, mistakes happen. It doesn't matter. But if you have a turnover, how how do we respond to that? Uh, you, you can't you can't give up at this point. Yeah, we have to. Um, like I said, everybody makes mistakes, but when that mistake happens, uh, we have to be hungry like dogs, you know, fight to get that ball back because it's do or die for us. And, and three points were huge for us today. But I think there's lots that we can improve uh, to, to make sure that uh, maybe the win next time comes a bit easier. Quick word on Ramon's presence out there on the back line today. Oh, well, he's a big guy. Um, so uh, that alone, I think, uh, uh, demands respect from opponents. And, and obviously him and Chad next to each other are a force to be reckoned with, you know. And uh, I think today, um, you know, uh, the Timbers, uh, they try to get balls in behind on the ground because uh, because they knew that we have that size and uh, and so uh, technically for them I think it was a difficult task to deal with those uh, balls in behind on the ground but they did they did it great so I, I'm I'm really happy that uh, we're able to to cut out so many balls for me.